alaikum, Elena here, the Muslim Java girl, and today we are talking hijab and airport. And we know that these two can actually be super scary together. So, inshallah, I get a lot of questions when it comes to how do you go through airport security with your hijab? And is it scary? Is it intimidating? Is it like, oh my god, what's gonna happen now kind of thing? <laughs> totally yes. However, it doesn't have to be. So recently, if you follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, which you definitely should do, I posted about an um, agent at security checkpoint asking me to remove my hijab. I was like, uh, no, I'm not removing my hijab. I'm wearing it for a purpose. So I said, no, sorry, and he let it go because obviously that's like totally normal. You shouldn't make me remove my hijab in front of everyone. However, I have heard stories of sisters being actually intimidated and asked to remove their hijab. It has happened in US, it has happened in Europe, and unfortunately it's something that with the recent events might happen again. And I hate hearing stories like this. So I wanted to make a video and kind of tackle the issue and see what can you do really and to just reassure you that it is okay just make sure you know your rights and follow the rules so you can travel with hijab or sometimes I travel with a hat or a turban and what happens usually is if I travel with a hijab and a turban and I fly through international big airports like London Heathrow or New York um, it's totally okay and they know that you know, they will ask me, can you remove your scarf, um, your, your turban? And I'll say, no, but it's okay if you want to check me out in a separate room. Um, I was flying in the particular airport when they asked me to remove my hijab through um, Sofia, which is not a very popular airport that you see a lot of Muslims traveling. So obviously the agent didn't know or just wanted to try his luck. I don't know. But I said no, and he didn't push it because what happens is, they can ask to check under your hijab, which is totally fine. They're just doing their job. One of the things I always say is, yes, if you want to check under my hijab, just go to a small private room. Uh, they usually have them just next to the checkouts for women who wear a niqab or for like kind of if somebody stopped, then you have to pat them down more. Um, and obviously for hijabis that they want to check under their hijab. You usually go in there with two officers. <laughs> The best thing is that you have to have two officers, um, usually, so if something happens, then there's another witness, just in case. Most of the time, when I have been stopped, the ladies have been super nice, and I've never had issues, you know, we'll joke, and I'll say, yeah, you can tap, and I'll remove my scarf or my hat. Um, with a scarf, it doesn't happen as often. Um, it has happened to me in Athens, but in like Heathrow and things, they just usually just scan around it to see if it's okay. Now, I know it's intimidating or it's scary because you get picked out of a line, but keep your cool. My number one is like, always be polite. They're just doing their job. Uh, and you can't, like, you can't do it. The more you stress yourself, the more or nervous you become, the kind of, they're gonna think that you like more suspicious. So just be polite. Um, know that they have the right to check you in a small room, but they don't have the right to actually ask you to remove your scarf in front of everyone. So you can offer them the option to go into a small room and just to remove it. Know also that you have to have two women in, um, there and they have to be of the same gender. So you can't have guys checking you out because it's obviously counterproductive of whatever you wear your scarf for. Um, but just, you know, with the world we live in, I highly recommend traveling more and being polite and sticking to your guts and knowing your rights and traveling because we're not gonna break barriers if we just kind of stay at home and you know watch TV and be like feeling oppressed get out there and travel just know that it might happen to you don't find it intimidating they're just doing their job you're just doing your job covering and being awesome and traveling so inshallah keep it up travel and I'll see you next time for more videos. Until next time, salam.